Hi, this is Dr. C. Bhamad, belonging to the Department of Computer Science, National Textile University, Faisalabad. The topic of my presentation for this paper is Parse Machine Translation from Text to Pakistan Sign Language for Effective Communication with Deaf People. So, <clears throat> not many people use language to communicate, but there are a large number of people who can't hear or speak, we usually call them deaf or mute people. So these people usually use gesture-based language to communicate with other persons, and that is called sign language. Sign language is majorly composed of two components called manual features that include hand arm orientation, location, or position. And the other uh, composition is non-manual feature that include facial expression. So several countries have developed their own sign language since there is no universal sign language. For instance, uh, USA has American Sign Language, UK has British Sign Language, and Pakistan has Pakistan Sign Language. So these are some of the stats from Pakistan. So 0 0.1 million people are deaf or mute. Uh, that is the 7.4% of the whole disabled community. And 55% of them are within the age group of 5 to 29 years. And only 5% of them have access to education. So there is a need of a system that can assist them to learn the sign languages uh, so that they may be converted into useful citizens uh, by overcoming their disabilities. So such translation system may be used for their better communication and education purpose. So this is the literature review of uh, for instance, we, you may see that we have different uh, applications for different sign languages. For example, we have uh, translation from English to American Sign Language, English to Czech Sign Language, English to British Sign Language, Greek to Greek Sign Language, Thai to Thai Sign Language. And similarly, we are having English to Indian Sign Language. <clears throat> so problem statement is that Sign language may be used to communicate with deaf people. However, it becomes difficult for ordinary human to learn this language to communicate with deaf people. Therefore, absence of such learning system may cause a hum huge communication gap between ordinary and deaf humans. Basically, in Pakistan, we have 12 Pakistan sign language, but we need a system that may translate and the text into Pakistan Sign Language using 3D animations. So the objective of this work is to develop an app that could translate input text into Pakistan Sign Language while generating 3D animation. So here is the potential benefit of the proposed work. The proposed research will minimize the communication gap uh, um, between ordinary and deaf human. More, moreover, it may be helpful for education and may improve the social life of deaf or mute community. So here is the methodology. First of all, we will be getting uh, input from the use, ESL user that may be ordinary or deaf or mute person. So first, the word or sentences will be checked if these will be in, in English, uh, written in English language, these will be go, these will go to the next stage. While if these will be in Urdu language, so we will use Google API for converting them into English. So after that, <clears throat> English words or sentences will be given to the parser. So at this stage, uh, we will do the pre-processing. For instance, we will do the tokenization. We will convert the numbers to text. We will perform contraction. Uh, we will remove the stoppers and we will perform either lemmatization or stemming. So the, pers the purpose of this part is to convert uh, the sentences or the words into main keywords that may be subsequently converted into PSL tokens. So these keywords are then passed to the controller. So the controller will be is connected with the database manager. So in that database, we call for hemnosis, and uh, 
against each word we call a hemnosis notation and that will that is provided uh, to the scripting languages xml that is called sigml language so sigml cache provides sigml code against each hemnosis system code and that is subsequently provided to the animation cache so animation cache request the frames from the animation server and in response to these requests the animation frames are presented to the animation cache that are finally converted into animations and the avatar player will play that animation against the input keywords or the sentences so i have briefed about some hemnosis but first let's let's talk what is actually hemnosis so just like spoken languages sign language can also be written from form for which multiple notations are available for instance hemnosis is basically a system uh, that is hamburg notation system it was developed in 1985 by university of hamburg in germany so these notations are helpful to write specific sign for a word for example here we have a complete hemnosis code that is segmented into four major components the first component that is called symmetry operator in this component uh, we provide information that either we want to use single hand or both hand for creating some sign then we include non-manual features uh, that is preceded by initial configuration for instance what is meant by initial configuration uh, it contains hand shape and hand position and subsequently hand location for example uh, this notation is providing the hand shape and subsequently it is describing that the fingers will be in the upward direction and the palm will be facing the screen and this symbol is describing that uh, the position or sorry location will be uh, against the chest and similarly after this uh, we made an action for some sign language description so the last part of this hemnosis is action or movement so here are some of the major parts of hemnosis so we are having some hand shapes and here we may have uh, we we may look at hand positions and here there are some hand locations here are some hand movements and hand rotations and finally uh, we are having some two handed signs so basically hemnosis is composed of these five components so we may use uh, the hand shapes hand position hand location hand movement hand rotation and two handed signs for creating some hemnosis so hemnosis is, cannot be directly played uh, by the avatar so we need some scripting languages that may convert in any hemnosis into some xml language uh, so for that we use sigml uh, sigml is basically signing gesture markup language that is an xml language established by university of east anglia to specially represent sign sequences basically it builds it builds on hemnosis notation and the output of this will be the lines of codes having tags which will be input for the animation server to create the animation frame so basically after pre-processing uh, when we get some hemnosis notations we provide these notations to sigml uh, for converting them into scripting languages that is subsequently presented uh, to the animation server for playing some avatar against the sigml notations for instance here you may see a word mat that is first converted into the hemnos system and this hemno system is subsequently converted into sigml code and that sigml code is finally provided uh, to the 
avatar players so here you may see that we may have a 3d animation for that specific keyword mat so in this work we have basically provided a web portal that may be used uh, for converting or translating the text into sign language for instance here you may see an avatar so here you may see uh, two buttons first one is uh, for converting english to pakistan sign language and the second one is from urdu to pakistan sign language so we can also change uh, different avatars so we have several other avatars but we are using mark uh, for translating the sign language we can also adjust the speed of the signs so we may make it faster or slower so we have also built a mobile application uh, for this sign language translation system so that we may increase the availability of this system to the persons beyond having the laptop or the other systems. So how we have evaluated the systems? So basically uh, we have evaluated uh, it by a team of deaf school in Faisalabad, Pakistan, consisting of five Pakistan sign language experts and five students. So students were asked to get the meanings of sign performed by the 3D avatar against some sentence or tokens. And language experts were also asked to check the accuracy level of the avatar signs. Though, so <clears throat> the overall accuracy average accuracy of the system was around 90.5 percent so we have calculated this accuracy just like uh, the cor correctly understood sentences divided by total sentences we have shown them multiply by 100 so that's how we got 90.5 percent accuracy of the proposed system so here are the <clears throat> visual results of the evaluations so for instance, uh, here the y-axis is presenting the number of sentences while x-axis is presenting the number of evaluators. So here uh, you may see the left uh, bar is representing the PSL expert while the right bar is representing PSL students. So I have already told you that overall we have got 90.5% accuracy. So what is the limitation? Actually, the limitation uh, is that the database of PACPARS has currently 2,000 hypnosis codes, which can be extended to cover the whole Pakistan sign language. And the other limitation is that hypnosis generation system covers only two modules of hypnosis code, that is hand shape and hand orientation. orientation. So, which can be extended to cover all other modules, for example, non-manual features, for example, uh, uh, systems um, presented by two hands and the other system I have described earlier. So, here are some of the references. So, thank you. You are open for any questions or queries regarding this system.